Previously on Xenoblade Chronicles. They wouldn't die from something like that. <laughs> I'm just imagining. I imagine Dumbass is gonna wake up and he looks over. He's gonna be like, Millie, are you there? <laughs> no, it's hit upon Ricky. Ah, oh, damn it. I got paired with Ricky. <laughs> damn. Ricky, love you, Dunban. Shut up, Ricky. <laughs> and now back to El Monado. Hello. Sneako B. Back with some more Xenoblade Chronicles. We last left off, we reunited with our OG Wafu, Fiora. Who, oh my god, where'd that girl come from? Who was back from the dead as an I guess. <laughs> uh, it's just so, I, lo I loved that scene between her and Shulk. That was just like, ah, uh, really wore my heart. And now she's pretty fucking badass, I gotta say. Like, I like her new, uh, her new skills. You guys pretty much explain how, you know, you can really sort of make her into whatever you want her to be, you know, based on what you equip on her. So that's cool. Something I did notice uh, also, I saw that, uh, so she has that move that allows her to equip uh, Mechon or, uh, yeah, Me Mechonis uh, armor. And I thought, oh, does that mean every other people can also do that or something? But then I saw the shape of her, uh, that skill is like a, a diamond shape and nobody has a, uh, a connection with her that has a diamond shaped slot, meaning uh, no one could actually use that skill of hers except her. So, okay. <laughs> so much for that. I was thinking, man, that'd be kind of cool. Like, everyone get, like, this, like, super robotic armor. <laughs> I know. It's, I mean, technically, this is actually her body. And for us, that would somehow just be, like, plates of armor. But, yeah, I, I wouldn't think about it too much. <laughs> anyway, last episode, I saw Barrier Trio struck a pose. Say, Shulk is a lucky guy. His favorite two things are tinkering with machines and Fiora. Now he can do both at the same time. <laughs> oh my god, that was such a fucking great comment. And it's for that reason you are our comment of the day. <laughs> we all know what he was talking about, yeah. <laughs> Just because I'm, I'm a robot doesn't mean I don't like my foreplay. Anyway, I figured this episode is likely going to be a big focus on some of the side quests. Um, I went ahead and got all the generic ones just out of the way. So, And I was kind of curious to see if the, uh, the Fallen Arm had any of their own generic side quests. Because I thought it was weird how out of all the areas, that was the only one I come across that didn't. Um, so I decided to look it up, and it turns out, no, there just isn't any there. So, all right, cool. It seems like there aren't as many quests there, but the the quests that you get give you a lot of affinity, so you can build it up really quickly. So, all right, cool. So I went ahead and did that. I got, I completed some other side quests that I haven't actually, like, well, I got the, uh, the items or the things that are needed for them, but I haven't actually reported back to the quest giver. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. But I also got uh, the items to upgrade uh, the colony. Colony special to level 3, which will put everything at level 3. So, all right. Let's do it. Oh, hey, look at that. That looks nice. Da -da -da. Okay. And we're gonna probably add some more street lights, I guess. Is that, yeah. Yep. See a present for all the residents. Top all four. Plus four. Alright, cool. Alright. Alright. Okay, well I do seem to have some of these already for the next level, so I might be able to get them all level four before uh, moving on. But yeah, so it uh, I, I think it's probably mostly uh, a focus on side quests this episode because, like you guys said, we do seem to be getting off, getting to the uh, cutoff point for a lot of different things. For example, Sword Valley and Galahad Fortress are going to be cut off after I complete the uh, next area. So, and then apparently after that, uh, oh hey, like a couple more areas after that, Alchemoth uh, gets cut off. So I probably should start making a little bit more progress here. Werner, uh, I know you come through a uh, trusty Werner. What, what did I do again? I can make my butterfly biscuits and my well, I suppose I should tell you. My butterfly ribbons. I told you it was embarrassing. You made a great tie-in product to go with biscuits, eh? Lots of space fellow believers. They'll be the next big thing. I hope I did something. <laughs> so, yes, while I was doing uh, all these uh, quests, I was I was doing it a full girl team. Go, girl power! And Charla finally made a friend with Melia here, so she's finally bonded enough to get to the green for her. About damn time, Charla. God, it's t time next year I'll be a millionaire. I've got a lot of work to do. Catch you later. Okay. Wait, wanted us uh, butterflies to make a special... Oh, I don't even remember what I fucking did, but... Okay, no Paul Boots. Yay. 
More importantly, that affinity. You're one of the guys I sent over from uh, Frontier Village. Yeah, there's only really one like little section over here that hasn't been filled in yet. Oh, yeah, we got these little guys uh, corralled in here. Armu. All right, off screen, I, uh, we leveled up some, and uh, we actually got some new skills. So, uh, Melly got this new move, Summon Ice. Ice reduces ether damage. Discharge inflicts chill damage. God damn, she can do fuck. She's like, seriously, can do freaking everything. So, that seems like it could be pretty good. Those, those ones that inflict damage over time just seem to be really effective. God, the summon ball of hers, though, it is godly. Seriously. Like, when I was running around just doing shit, just using that to lay waste to everybody, it was, oh, so satisfying. Oh, by the way, I, I defeated Lightning Ronov. I did it off screen. It took me fucking forever, though, all right? That guy sucked. He sucked so badly. So, as you guys have pointed out, um, apparently, Lightning Ronov does spike damage. So, basically, every time I hit him, he does a bunch of damage to me, too. So the only way to get rid of it is to use Purge, which lasts about 12 seconds. I could use her thing also, the uh, Elemental Burst. At least I, I think I can. Or I could topple or daze him. Problem is he, he was resistant to break, so I, I'd have to use either Ricky's uh, topple move that forces it, or Dumb Bands, which dazes him, but those only last for like a couple of seconds. And then he gets right back up and he's doing a shit ton of damage. Fuck me, it took a long goddamn time to beat him. I was getting really frustrated. But I did eventually beat him, and I did it when I was... I did it with uh, Shulk and Dumb Band, and I was controlling Ricky. I managed to actually keep using this a bit to keep knocking him down and then healing us with the uh, You Can Do It. Oh, and then the stat and the stats effect thing, too. So this this thing was really what kind of warmed down. But seriously, that was he was easily the hardest one I've come across so far. When I was looking up tips to on how to actually tackle him. I, I saw a lot of people apparently had trouble with him, so I was glad to say it wasn't just me. All right, so uh, Dumban learned this Demon Slayer. A powerful attack on one enemy reverberates to all others. So if I finish off an enemy with Demon Slayer, all enemies suffer to force topple for three seconds. So that's pretty sick, and this is a shit ton of damage, so I went ahead and add that in there. Oh yeah, Ricky learned Say Sorry. Remove debuffs from enemy, but deals extra damage for each one. Increase rate per debuff. That, I mean, the debuffs are like, if I poison them or burn them or, or uh, cast ice or something on them, right? So that actually does have a lot of potential, I think. Does have a rather long cooldown, though. All right, let's go ahead and finish off some of these quests that I've already gotten all the, the stuff for. So the, I haven't really touched the ones in the on the Fallen Arm. There are a couple in Alchemoth. Look at all these ones I still gotta complete. I just, all I gotta do is return and talk to the quest giver. So, all right. <laughs> There's that one freezing knob on a Valak Mountain. I guess I'll go save him first. Don't know how he's not fucking dead. Oh, I managed to complete uh, Valak Mountain's area too. This is sort of a weird one. Like, so one of the generic quests was uh, was uh, having me go to uh, two like spots um, on Valak Mountain that were like, j just to get a nice view and then go and describe it to them. And one of them was like really weird. Like it was sort of like off. The, it doesn't even show it on the map, but there's like a singular path that goes up right through this area. They had to go through it to get there. Also, this is definitely one of those games you do not want to like wait a long time in between play sessions because unfortunately the game really doesn't do the best job of showing you where quest givers are on the map. Really, like it's really weird. Like. There's so many things this game does like well to make things easier, but then it does like really basic shit that all a bunch of other games will do that that make it more difficult. Like going back and finding quest givers that have given you quests to uh, report back to. Like I actually remember this guy is fortunately, but he is kind of in a random fucking place. All right, here you go. This nice and warm, just what I wanted. Now I fall start and we warm up. Ouch! It's too hot. I die again. At least I feel warm again. Hope I was of some help. Now I'll get back to my friends. Take them the information I found. They all be so shocked. Damn, we could have just brought you over there, but whatever. Oh my god, power! I feel power coursing through me! Okay, and imagine if I go back there, they'll probably have some additional missions for me. Uh, is it this one or the other one? I think it must be the other one. No? It's weird, I don't see him back at either of the camps. All right, something I've been meaning to tell you guys for a while now, um, and I've, I've, I've sort of brought up in uh, other videos and made links to it, but um, we are actually selling now um, new Xenoblade Chronicle Picking with Plushies. Right now we have Shulk, who comes with his own Monado Blade, and also our Dunban Plushie, yes. They're available now in the Picky Penguin Plushie store if you want to check them out and show your love to the Monado boy and Daddy Dun Dun. Oh. 
Got a little icy area here. Oh! What the hell? What are you doing here, you little weirdo? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Help's coming last! Yay! <laughs> we messed up, but you kids catch me! Now get back to other researchers! Help us, help us with some help! Oh, okay! Oh no! This time the guards. Uh, guard that comes every day! Could it be that the exit was blocked? Looks like we came along at a bad time. But there's no way you can lose to them! Chuckies will let me get away! Get rid of them so we can. Oh, come after me! Uh oh. Or it's low right now, but you still need to be careful! Uh, okay, are they, uh. Yeah, they are right behind us, aren't they? Hello, buddies! <laughs> they are completely unfazed by this, but okay, we shall murder them in cold blood anyway. No because fuck them! Now shall boom! Ah! Burn you all alive! Ah, you lightning fucking power! Ah, oh my god, I don't even know what's happening! I think, I, oh, that's uh, Fiora's move. I put a different pair of shoes on her! And instead of shooting a laser in a single line, it shoots like a bunch of lasers uh, around her. Great helping each other is our greatest strength! Friendship is truly magical! Boom! Come on, ladies! Kick some ass! Bah! Girl power! Alright, there we go, we got them. The bad old chilkins. I don't know why, how to thank you! That second time you helped me! I was supposed to some help by helping you. Chilkins weak lately? Might be risen for that. Oh, you have no time to hang around here chatting. I need to meet up with my friends to tell them my information. Top secret information about chokins. Oh. Maybe, you, okay. Maybe you had to get you alongside the other one in order to, I guess, for whatever to show up. Oh, here we go. Yeah, you were the ones who helped Nopon. Let me thank you, too. I hope I, <laughs> I hope I was of some help. Melly, it's okay to, it's okay to be happy. You'll put in a lot of effort after all. My apologies, I'm not used to such behavior. You almost can't, Fiora. Man stealing whore! It good that there are people like you around. I see how strong you are. I have a request for you. I want you to investigate Chilkin Lair near Bagnar Snowfield. Top secret information says that Chilkin Leader is missing. This chance for us to do our research and slay them all! If we get catched again, we might get eaten. That's why I wanted you to do it. Investigate the Chilkin Lair. Uh, okay. Thank you! Might be Chilkins are there, but go and investigate their lair. I need to worry about them without their leader. So you say. Oh, there it is. Thought to Chilkins here. Maybe Antos caught them. Uh, okay. Is that it? Uh, yep, turn back. Crawling with Antos? There are even cocoons in there. That's not what I expected. The whole ecosystem in this area might be in danger. It's a very serious situation, but hold on a while. I want to ask my friends about it. Can you think of a way to save this mountain? <laughs> okay, well, that was an easy one. I didn't have to find anybody. Give me a bunch of experience. <laughs> okay, we're not thinking! What can we do to maintain ecological balance on mountain? Mm-hmm. This big problem means we need strong will to solve it. Need to speak with someone so strong that he's stubborn. Oh! Oh, is this, uh... It's gotta be fucking Ron time, baby. Right? Come on. Is this, uh, uh, skill quest? Can we do a maintain ecological balance? Hmm. Huh. I got stuck to strong with strong will. That's not... It's not fucking Ron time, no? Dunban? I know what to do. Naked Dunban, who's freezing his balls off his here. Still haven't found the answer. Yes, it is me. Of course, of course, I am always the answer. Not yet. A tricky one to solve. What? Isn't it a simple matter? There are two forces against each other. One side is a leader. The other side doesn't. The balance of power has simply been disrupted. Correct? That's it? Just kill strong leader? Is everything back to normal? That may restore temporary balance. However, the problem is the Chilkin leader's disappearance. It may be that he is just in hiding and observing the situation. If that's true, then Palisto can come back. That's why we only have one op option available to us. We must eliminate both leaders. I understand. That's gotta work. Kill them all! We'll be so busy fighting over who becomes successor. And the former power balance of Valak Mountain will be restored. Although I doubt that conflict would itself will cease. Chukuns and Antals have lived on this mountain for, far for a long time. That's how this mountain always have been, and always will be. <laughs> weird little ants versus weird toucan Sam! That may be true. If you agree, then we will help. Really? It's a good thing I know where Antol Leader is. He's in Antol Den and Cave inside Hollow Bone. You could just have to try and find missing Chokin Leader. Understood. S sorry, everyone, but I really think we should accept this 
ex request. Yes. Do for all creatures that live on Valak Mountain. Save us, Daddy Dumb Man. I have come. Balance of power. Defeat the barbaric Citri in the Antol Den and the banquet Visago, who is somewhere in Valak Mountain. Oh, come on. You're not going to give me a freaking indication of where that one is. He's somewhere. You figure it out, stupid. Oh, by the way, uh, Ron and Shulk uh, maxed out their affinity with each other. They now love each other. <laughs> I, love, I love the the animation of it. It's like, uh, ah! Both his eyes and his mouth become an extra heart. Like, Aah! oh, we're so in love. Oh, the barbaric, uh, okay. He's right. He's actually on that, uh, that slope that, that was up there. That's right. Let me switch out to Fiora here to get to him. She's the one with the quick ge step gems. I don't understand why, why did I just pick up large handcuffs in this icy slide? What are these doing here? What have the Nopom been doing to each other? Ah, ah there we go. Entold in. Uh, there it is. I don't even know why we bother. This thing's gonna be back eventually anyway. They always come back. The fighting spirit is mine. <laughs> I really like our vibe! I fix it feels so good! Boom! Gun drones! Oh yeah, look at that! The best team ever! Boom! That's right, fuck off little buggies. We have killed your queen. We were, for. we were fine, ladies. Come on. Oh, the leader was here too. Banquet Visago. He was inside one of the one of the cocoons. So that's why he was gone. That's interesting. That's a real clever uh, clever move there. Encourages you to look around uh, your environment. That's why he had vanished. Drop, Elliot, drop, kick, boom. Daddy Dunban took care of everything. Which I mean, I'll let the ladies do all the work. I've defeated the, the Chilkin leader and Antol leader. Seriously, Dunban? Not cool, man. <laughs> That's right. Daddy Dunban! Rah! Saves the day again! Yeah, I know it. I should keep them quiet for a bit. Hopefully, this will preserve the balance on Valak Mountain. Must have been difficult. But you did a very good job. How'd you do it? By killing them. I have a strong will. Just told myself that I'll protect this mountain's ecosystem. It's rare to find such resolute will in this cold, hostile place. I will unlock your true power. Ah! Well, I wouldn't go that far. Fiora always just used to, just used to say I was obstinate. And you are, brother, and I'm right behind you. It was your strong will that saved this whole place. Thank you on behalf of Alec Mountain. Yeah, stellar shit. A <laughs> dumb man's obstinate. Yes. I'm still, I'm still getting stronger. Ah. Such amazing power is now in Dunban's hands. Greatly reduces the weight of equipment. Yeah! Can I greatly reduce the weight of absolutely nothing on me? <laughs> uh, grants HP up buff at the start of battle. Okay. Is that, isn't that something he already gets it? Yeah. It's right here. It's actually a better version of the final skill of this tree. This one activates more often, but this one gets a better boost. And just like Melee is though, these, uh, this costs less. Uh, to, to build up. Less AP, I mean. Oh, hey. Allows heavy uh, weight equip... Uh, heavy weight armor to be equipped. All right, cool. This is physical attack. Attack damage taken. Grants immunity to blow down attacks. All right, cool. I think I'll just go ahead and finish this one up since I'm already almost done with it. Oh, hey. Oh, I bet mean, this is the quest you guys are telling me about with Desiree that I need, I need Shulk with, all right? Shulk, you've been doing a lot of good deeds lately. The helpless and the hopeless alike fix their problems. Not exactly that desperate, but I'm in a bit of loss at the moment. It's been a year now. I just saw what I'm doing with my life. That doesn't sound good. Yet I still get my generic response, really? I'm so confused. It's really been getting to me recently. I can ask your advice. I know you're bad with machines, but you can do other things. You don't need to worry. That's right, we fixed her watch uh, before. It's not just about money. I sold my dad's shop, and that's left me in an okay situation for now. Your your dad saw and he became a mechon. Wait, that's not what I wanted to talk about. Come on, Shulk, listen to me. <laughs> the question is just to listen to Desiree, Desiree's long story. Oh, that sounds hard. Nah, no, fuck that. I'm done. 
Thanks. This could be a bit of a long chat, so bear that in mind. Oh, Lord. All right. Oh, I can just walk away. All right, I'm done. Nope, I give up. Hello. Hello. I'm always wandering around down here at night, but it's not just for the sake of it. I have a good reason. I'm mulling over my future. I'm mulling as hard as I can and hope that I'll figure it all out. Narrowing down the options is so difficult. It's taken about the same amount of time as you've spent fighting. If you'll let me tell you about it, we could both take a short break. That's fine with me. It is? Thanks! You always do make such a good listener. I've got a point where I've narrowed it down to, to two options, but now I can't decide between them. I spent forever thinking it over. I just can't know for sure which one would suit me best. I think I'll go crazy unless someone helps me choose. Oh lord, I can see the problem. I knew you would. Anyway, next time we chat, I'll tell you all the details. Just tell me now, God! Okay, so the first career path I'm considering is the Defense Force. Don't tell me. Your first thought was, her? A soldier? No way. Well, think again, bitch! Actually, really good shot. Lieutenant even told me I'd soon be an expert if I signed up. But there are some drawbacks. One, fighting is really dangerous. Fine, that's what one's a bit obvious. Two, I'm very bad with machines. What if it turns out I can't service my gun properly? I won't even be able to train. But if it works out, I could do all the do all right for myself. The pay is good, and I think I'd enjoy the lifestyle. There are definitely some good arguments on both sides. Do you mind if I think it over? Not at all. So they spend long enough doing that. Wait, what were the choices? I I heard the soldier, and then what was the other one? <gasps> ah, trying to fall asleep while listening to Desiree's stories. Better save because I feel like I have a choice here coming up. Right, the other career path. If I might try to go down is. This conversation is very weirdly paced out. Being a sculptor. Don't laugh. Got a budding interest in it. I carved a pendant out of wood. I wouldn't say I'm that good yet, but it's so much fun. I could become Kenny Rohan's people and learn properly. There are problems with this option too, though. One, it doesn't pay very well. At all. Two, it's not exactly the most social of activities. I probably have nobody to talk to all day but my own sculptures. Possibly not the best career path if I'm trying to land a, ma land a man. But I do enjoy it a lot. I'm glad everything was- What the fuck? Why? What the hell, Shulk? What are you doing? We've- All the other characters we've done so far have had, like, in-depth conversations. I'm just saying these generic one-liners, like I always do. Glad everything worked out. We haven't done anything yet, Shulk. Was just me, everyone help. You all did, your part, just sitting here listening to Desiree and her dumb problems. Do you mind? That makes me sure she's a bit long-winded and annoying. But that's just because it matters so much to me! And it should matter to you! Let's take a deep breath and carry on. I'm nearly finished. Oh my god, okay, we're still going. Hello. Hello! Realistically, I'm sure I'd be able to do either job. I've done a ability for one and, and a keen interest in the other. Because there's no wrong answer, they'll both have ups and downs. That's exactly why it's so hard to decide. You pick for me instead, do it! Me? But it's your life we're talking about. Your entire life. Don't worry. I won't hold a grudge against you. In fact, I won't have any regrets. Wherever you decide, I'll do it and never look back. There's no hurry. I'll wait till you thought about it properly. <laughs> this is a really weirdly laid out thing. Like, you think what they do is just have her tell me all at once and then the fun, like, give me a chance to save or something and then give do the final choice. But no, we're just gonna keep stopping and make you think. There was even a point she was like, I'm gonna give you a moment to think about it. Think about what? Okay, Shulk, which career path do you think would suit me best? Okay, uh... Honestly, I think I'd have to go with Soldier, because, I don't know, I mean, Kenny Rollins a little weirdo. <laughs> I guess she'd be safe, but she's, like, all by herself all the time. That doesn't sound like a very good way to live, you know? Soldier is dangerous, but, and you're not good with machines, but, I mean, you could learn, right? To get better at it. And you'd be doing something, you know, for other people, so, you know what, let's, let's go with that. I'm just hoping it's not, like, resulting in her death or something. <laughs> then I'm gonna feel like a real shitbag. I think I'd make a good soldier. It'd feel nice to be able to protect people. Maybe I'll even find a nice soldier boy. It's part that part's just between us. Becoming a soldier could send me up for life. Good idea! It's your idea, technically. You're welcome, but I, I don't think I actually did anything. Oh, stop being so pessimistic. You give me the push I needed. Now I sort of wish I hadn't. If it all goes wrong, god damn it! Minato, why didn't you wake up for this choice? Don't worry too much, Shulk. It'll be fine, I guarantee. I've realized before, but you're pessimistic as well sometimes. I think it's nice in a way. It's just how kind and caring you are. Most of the time, it's still better to be confident in yourself. You're right. But you should remember to take your own advice, Desiree. True. Really have to do my best in my new career. 
I must not be eroding your self-confidence as well as mine. It's all the motivation I need, so thanks for everything. <laughs> okay. I feel like it's gonna be one of those ones that I probably won't like see the, the results immediately. Like I'll I'd probably have to wait a while and come back after like the main story has progressed. Swept shit. Yes, jokes, pessimism, skill branch is unlocked. Alright. And her thing has changed too. Oh hey! She's actually got a uniform on now. Drifted oh drifted apart? What? Wait, were they connected initially? Oh, that's right. This is the weird stalker chick. <laughs> a go getting sniper. God damn. Oh Miffy Miffy has decided to move. Connie Six is near her home village. Has lots of grass as well. Miffy Miffy still a bit confused. Maybe his life here is not so bad. And there's no another scientist in Colony Nine, but not very well. Would not be good if two scientists moved away. Shall I leave my work to to other scientists? Uh, oh! Oh, the, you're making it sound like I've got a choice to make again. Okay. Maybe we'll do a good job here at Colony Nine. See, Miffy Miffy, if you change your mind. I'm gonna find this other scientist then. Oh, hey, it's Monica, the chick we hooked up with that one guy. I'm thinking about cooking something for Andreas today. See how considerate I am? But did a curse the other day, but he still said it was tasty. Either love is blind or there is something wrong with his tongue. <laughs> but I still find him adorable. Oh, that's good. I'm glad to see that's actually working out pretty well. I had me fucking nervous after the decision I made. You know I'm the weakest man to ever join the force. Top it all up, my conduct stairs are a laughing stock. I'm on the new female recruits and endurance training. How's it going? I'm getting anyone, anyone's way about to stay here. But I don't do anything and then all the others back. Are you serious, dude? How's it going? Come on, it's gotta be like, it's gotta be some quest built around you, right? Look at his big old googly eyes. It's like, ah. There are just too many scientists in this colony. I can't really get any funding. They much prefer to fund groups. Then you give me an introduction to Colony Nine. Perhaps I can be even better use than that Nelpon scientist. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. So you're the one I'd pick between. Uh, it's like, how are you supposed to fucking know? Fine. I'll take you to Colony Six. Thanks. You won't regret it. That's why I want to end up studying the same thing as someone else. I already decided to research. I'll be the leader in that field. So exciting. I'll gather my things right away. Don't disturb me too much if you happen to see me in Colony Six. Bitch, I invite you there, alright? Enemies are attacking the either plants. Oh, god damn it. Fend off the attacks where we all die. Defend Colony Six Reptile. The five fiery ignis in the area of the ether planet at the freight at the freight road. Ah shit. That's what I get for fighting this chick, damn it! You've doomed us all, Perrine! Is that okay with you, Meffy? Did you see that? Did you see that? Huge firework! So beautiful. Now that is real healing. Everyone in Kali feeling happy. Oh Sesame is amazing! Meffy, look up to Sesame! Oh yeah, okay, you were reacting to the, the fireworks from a, a long time ago. <laughs> Reverence, okay. That's good, you got an attachment to somebody. I mean, they think Hom-Hom feel better just by having her around. It's so strange, because Meffy, Meffy is not born and not hom Oh, hey, there's Desiree. Oh. Dorothy and I have become really good friends. I didn't recognize her with that hat on. Is that, yeah. Or is it a hat? No, no, it's your hat off. I didn't realize they had blonde hair under there. That's the same age, but she's so mature and underneath. Hey, look at you, bonding with people. All right. If you have drifted apart from your other friend. Being gatekeeper is much cooler than patrolling like this. It's like you're the face of Colony 9. And then Elfie would wear off. Yeah, there she okay. is. You know, my friend, she's called Desiree. She's joined the defense force. But I don't think she's used to it yet, but she's doing her best. Oh, what? Did it change? For a friend? Oh, what the hell? Well, okay. Why do they just suddenly change their mind when I talk to them? <laughs> They're like, you know what? Remember that friend of mine? Well, I was like, I was just kind of eh about. Now I'm feeling kind of eh about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. God damn, look at this fucking web. Still got a lot of work to do on the other ones, though. Colony and I is the only one that's really. Made a shit, I made a shit ton of progress with. All right, I forgot to check Shulk's uh, new skill tree. <laughs> Pessimism. Is that really a good skill to have? Fight, fight the future. Extends time before vision becomes reality. Oh, that's actually pretty fucking useful. Increases aggro drawn from using R. It's also very useful. Increases chance of burst affinity after evasion. Reduces aggro when damage is taken. Grants immunity to debuffs that reduce stats. Oh, wow. Okay. That sounds pretty fantastic. Well, in that case, yeah, let's go with this one. Those are, like, all good things for him. All right, we got it. It's to green. Is that enough for you, Paola? The good, good, good as friends as boys. Prove it! Uh, nope. So we gotta get at least a blue or purple or something. <laughs> all right, we'll go get your stuff for your chemist thing. Or to reopen your chemist thing. You found all of them. Now this can get some help. I guess I'll be helping Nidhi and the Fakers too. Ha ha ha! Yay! Fakers want a fake. So much, but the elderly rest is out of wood brown. 
I really appreciate having Gravity seize their ailments. Okay, cool. Oh, a whole one star. Thanks, Hi. Olga. All that shit I had to go through to get the, that stuff. Oh. Oh, is it true? It's but Butterfly, butterflies. I don't trust him, do you? What's his name again? Werner, I think? Oh. Yeah, that was the one that came from Colony 9. <laughs> Mistrust. Look at Werner and his dumb face. Eating butterflies for profit is cruelty to insects. What if they come in stick off the back of him, lining his pockets? The guilt take responsibility. I don't deserve to die! Hello. The fuck is this guy doing? I'm hard to train, my heart's content. I'm not tingly listen to Vince for us, but I want to do my best trick. Come on for invaders, yeah. I want to punch the street like. Uh, uh. Okay, crazy bands. Oh, there's it? Perrine. It appears I am the only home scientist in this colony. How lucky! Oh, they're all sturdy. I am the de facto leader scientist. What I'm a god! Finally, I can research without worrying on another's opinions. The shackles off and get to work. Oh. Oh no. Strange friends, strange friends. Do you know what a mixer is? A very handy hom hom device. I'll get one made for me. Let's talk to a hom hom who is good with machines. Oh, good with, oh, that's uh, Shulk. A friend of mine put in an order for sweet heart treats. I'll make the sweet treats as quickly and as easily as possible. But a mixer for me, I can do job easily. A mixer? If we get the right parts, we can easily make one. Really? Oh, 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 please, please, please! It's another skill tree for him already? You guys did tell me, so apparently you actually get two skill trees, not, not just one. Uh, okay. Friend, so wonderful, you fill a wish of mine. I'll pair a crate sweet treats. We need two generic shafts and two generic blades. We can head to Colony 9 Lab and make the mixer. Okay. Uh, okay, I got all the items, thank God. There are other quests here, though, I need to, that I've actually completed. I just need to find the quest givers. God, Ricky's got a lot of kids. So many babies. All right, Lekka is the one that wanted, like, ten peachy joints. God, thank you, friend. Now we are okay for food for a little while, at least. We eat all day today. Just joking, we'll eat sparingly. God, oh, you should be happy, probably. Oh god, he's got more shit. Though we could get by with just to have enough food. Not so. Need support from everyone to live happily together with Kalaki. Like who knew you would say that? Friends are really getting to like Leko, yes! <laughs> Not particularly, no. Come here, Opon, that big big relief you! Like who need friends to find special Opon. These Opon must be willing to support Leko and Kalaki's lifestyle. First Opon is one that is studious like like clever. Second one must be strong and third, and last one must be cute. Uh okay. Do anything for like a wonderful, fantastic! Hunt for a patron. Have a chin wag with the cleverest nope on. Uh, strongest and the cutest. Okay. This means just run around till I find the ones I need. Oh, Peppa. Friends think Peppa cute! Oh, Peppa! Friends make Peppa blush! Friends want me to support Leku! Maybe I should add him to my list of potential princes! Okay, Peppa, do as you ask! Okay, that's one down. Yes. Oh! Oh, he friends got them! I also got things for you! Yeah, yeah, all the cute things you wanted. I was one of these things, so happy and cute. I was so cute she could die it. Die it. Be accused of death ever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, calm down. Kill me. Oh. Another one, Miko. Chief has left village, so it is up to me to learn to conduct prayers. Miko looking for someone to help. It's just Miko. It's not very complicated, really. Miko want Pelu Pelu to do night patrol properly, no slack off. Can you tell him for Miko? Uh, okay. So I here upon Ricky and Psychics. Okay, do thing. Oh. Got, uh, dump Animelia. You know what? Let's go ahead and do this, because I've already reached a point where they they can do this. True natures. You look, you are so beautiful and naked, done bad. I know. This flower is much like the one that used to grow up by air sea. Used to? You mean it doesn't anymore? Alas, the breed was wiped out. Not like this grow there anymore. But seeds must have dispersed all the way here and taken root. Isn't nature beautiful? I can see you love flowers, Melia. I do adore them. So yeah, I, I, I've sort of realized now that these heart-to-hearts really actually do give indications about the things they like. So, uh, Melia likes plants, and you guys, or likes flowers, and, and you guys had shown me that with uh, the help of the gift guide, so. So it's not completely, like, total crapshoots. That's good. Do adore them. I like nothing more than finding new species on our travels. How about you, Dumban? Do you like flowers? Uh... I'll be honest, not really. I'm gonna say probably not, because I, I think he, I think he, this one's suggesting, oh, yes, I like them, like he's lying. So it's probably better to be honest, right? I'll be honest, not really. I don't get the impression that you dislike them all that strongly. Well, maybe it's just that you'd like them so strongly. You can't imagine that someone might not like flowers at all. That's not what I meant. It, it's just, 
If you hated flowers, you wouldn't tread so carefully around them. I am beaten by your powers of observation. I can always see a person's true nature from how they act in public. I've studied you all ever since we met. You in particular. Tell me about Shaw. Ah! Then all, all, as all wise rulers do. I feel like it's probably gonna upset her. So, yes, all wise rulers do. She'll probably be like, like, what are you talking about? <laughs> she get, she get all flustered and tsundere. I must know his, his people. My father and brother taught me much about imperial duties. I never thought I would actually need those lessons, but I will certainly need them now. However, the lesson reached far beyond the particulars of ruling. I learned how to handle myself and communicate well with people. Maybe you need a few more of those lessons. Are you saying I lack people skills? You only seem yourself around Rick and Shulk, if I might say. I wish you'd open up to the rest of us a bit more. Just because I've got a weird dangly arm here doesn't mean I'm not a nice guy. We've all been through so much together on the battlefield. Deep down, I know that you are right. Thank you, Dunban, for your frank comments. I will do my best to open up more. I didn't mean for her to treat us quite so formally, but oh well. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, ah, uh, that's, that's cute. Everybody loves Daddy Dunban. Oh, she's talking about. Oh, Granny, Granny Pawn for Kokora. Kokora. God, these little things are everywhere. There's so many of them. Oh, you want to go to Colony Six? Wait, I wasn't giving an option again, was I? Say, Master Creek, care for her sick friend. But studies are not advanced enough here in Village. Wants to go see study where good teachers are. Oh yeah, yeah, totally. Come on, buddy. Thank you so much, or we'll surely create cure for friend sickness. Yay, all right. God, where are all the fucking people that I got quests for that I'm... All right, here are your pollen things. Red spring bee pollen for yellow gro flower grove. Now we keep po pollen lamp, uh, or lamp lit. Except friends deserve to hear some not pollen knowledge. I use it to make very special red pollen or without this pollen. Oh, that's the one that, uh, uh, that, uh, other little dude from Satoral Marsh was doing. That's why red pollen orbs are so precious. Hmm, okay. <laughs> Honoring all pawn, yay! It's been a while since I've made anything. Hope I've not lost my chest, because I... Because here goes nothing. Ah, I fucked up! I've done it! Works even better than I thought it, it would. Better get this to Rono. Okay. Special mixer. Okay, here we go. Oh, it, mixer, it, mixer it is! I just pushed this button right. Rom, rom, way up! Mixy, 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 is a piece of simplicity. Right away, a little mix. Sweet treats for friend of mine, Peppa. Peppa always does taste test on my sweet uh, treats I make. Dang. I'm certain she will give perfect score. Okay, I don't seem to have gotten another skill tree, so I guess it. I guess sometimes you do need to use a specific character, but it doesn't necessarily lead to a skill tree. I kind of figured that every time it that happened, it would. Oh, hey, we hit three stars with uh, Central Bionis. All right, Peppa and her friends. Oh, Russia. Hey, see, Palm Chair? Cherie doesn't seem to want to spend time with me. She's my only relative, though, so I want to be close to her. Cherie's Mama Palm, my sister Palm, is no longer with us. I feel I should be like Mama Palm to Cherie because of that. Why don't you get a present? Maybe something she likes. A present? What should I give her? I tried to give her a ring and some flowers before. She wouldn't accept them, though. Is there something that she needs? You should always know because you're always looking over her. Now that I think of it, she said she needed some filtered water. She must need it for her work. Will something like that be okay, I wonder? Near, from near Sparkly Pool, Machna Forest. Uh, okay, should be pretty easy then. I think I need to talk to you to complete a different quest though. I have already started. I'm finished. Oh, no, wrong one. All right. Press past Machna Luca. My friends do that. I know, Frasha told you to. Tell Frasha to mind her own business. Oh, uh, what? Oh, Sherry hates bugs and Though I used to kill them off for her, I'm not able to do so now. Oh, and, and now she's like saying, hey, she's, okay, she's trying to do a friend and then her friend said she didn't need to do that and now I gotta go talk to her. Well done, thank you so much, that's a relief. Sharice, so I should mind my own business. She used to learn some manners of grow up, bitch! I don't think that's gonna end very well for their relationship. Ooh, irritating. I'm gonna kick her fucking monkey ass. Oh. Don't know, but anger with me again. Shoot daggers at me if I don't work properly. I die people death. Wow, everybody hates Sharice. Everybody hates Jerry. I don't want to be, I get nervous! My god, I keep finding new Nopon, like, my god, how many of these fuckers are there? Look at this shit! Oh my god, they're everywhere! It's so hard to hunt down, because they all look the fucking same! And there are like a million non-named uh, uh, Nopon NPC, it's like, fuck me! I've seen some of you say how this place can be a bit of a nightmare to do side quests, and I'm, uh, I, I'm definitely seeing what you're talking about! Oh, 
You saw. Hello? Oh, mon opong come to me complain about toothache. I come up with a good treatment, but I do not have enough of the materials. A few years ago, I was having opong's protocol for medicine. A hatchling know it's know it all called Medi is taking all of my business. I can barely see my patients because of my pain in my knees. I was wondering, what exactly are Nopon's knees? <laughs> yeah, right here. Can't you see? Good solid knee joints. I see, so that's where they are. Now when Ricky injures his knees, I can respond appropriately. Thank you. Four Vang milk teeth from the Vang people. Ooh, rivals. Damn, a lot of these Nopon are not like each other. Seriously, look at all this. Look at all that orange. Angry hate. <laughs> so much hate. Oh, hey, that was talking about Dr. Uh, yeah, Dr. Yusa. He likes that one. I think he said that one. You said not go get on with Dr. Mitty. Train outside. I mean, he knows many things, even though he is young. He's reliable, too. What the fuck? Now you're saying the other one's great? <laughs> Wait, you're, oh, you're undecided about both of them. Oh. All right, here's the thing for this guy's cough. <laughs> hey, my oh, friend's got it. Oh, Camelot is off to <clears throat> just like they say. <clears throat> oh, uh, stole the whole Camelot's big star feel arrested. Oh, I don't really hear a difference, to be honest. You know? Don't you know, boy? Okay, little kid. It was just a new coughing down there. Do you first know why Biggie's so happy? I think it's all the first got rid of ghosts for Biggie. Biggie's super well now. I I was... Okay, I was some help. Yes, we got rid of ghosts, even though it's just a guy coughing. We're not gonna tell him that? So how sleep make Biggie big and strong? Now Biggie can grow up real big! And we tell him absolutely nothing. Oh, he's got another quest for us. <laughs> oh, weird songs. They actually formed up. Weird Bond as well. Curious Scaredy Cat. Do friends know who most amazing Nopon is? It's Nopon Sage, of course. He lived by waterfall. If you ask Nopon Sage to grant your wish. Ah, I think it was a real secret. Friends don't want to be Nopon Sage. How about Sage like to eat? So friends should bring him food offering. Oh, Lord. Ah, I'm all objectives. Does not exist. But then people say uh, Nopon and Sage does not exist. People, I think want to be Nopon Sage and prove everybody wrong. Me and Nopon Sage, friends must make offering. Uh, okay. Did you see Leia fish? Benign cricket. Oh, I've got them all. Thank freaking baby Jesus. These, with these big, you can make, uh, let's all race up on stage. Pinky, prepare offering right now. Come, come up and Pinky again, friends. Yay, thank God. Oh, I love when it's just that easy. But of course, you're not done yet, because why, why would you be? Offering up on stage, ready. Take offering to where up on stage lives. Pinky, want to grow Grown ups to go see for ourselves that Nopon Sage exists. If Biggie say no Sage, oh, grown ups will leave Biggie. Make offering when there is rainbow over Bok the waterfall. Then Nopon Sage will come out. Oh, hey, if you are, I've jumped into one of these quests now. You mean he only appears when there's a rainbow? Do you think he'll cross a rainbow bridge to come and greet us? I saw mom lady look so pretty flying over a rainbow. <laughs> well, I, I can't fly, but I'm flattered you think I look so pretty. Make the offering where you can see the rainbow of Great Mokna Falls. I appear when there is big rainbow over fall. Must be time to be just right. Uh, okay. The piggy be able to see any food. Be able to eat bitter kiwi for the first time ever. Okay, so probably while it's raining then. I'm gonna take a guess that it's like right here. Oh, hey, I see it right there. Motherfucker, I can see the fucking rainbow. So where do I, do I go where the star of the rainbow is? Oh, I see it. I see the right exclamation point. Right, make offering. It's like there's a rainbow. Let's make the offering. Uh, oh, where, where'd, you, where'd you come from, dude? Hey, see you seven with this scrumptious looking offering. Wow, I thought you'd be like bigger, but different looking. Nope, just regular no pod. <laughs> wish to win my approval and be granted my treasure. What's that you say? You're here for someone else? So think you wish to stomach that which you can't. Thump it your kiwi. So it's just simple. Understanding is thinking is not. Kawoosh, kawoosh, yes, I've been bully, bully, bully. Grandpa Vicky's wish to stomach better kiwi. His wish has been granted. No, give me ultimate demon power! Damn it! I saw what I wanted! Turn it, Vicky! That's it? Come back to Vicky! Return me another time, acquire about my treasure! Oh, okay. I'll come back later then. Better give me that treasure. Little crap. I'll throw you off this goddamn cliff. Hey! Biggie! Try eating better kiwi! No one this time delicious! Wow, I'm I really wasted a wish. Seriously, that was so stupid. Fuck! Friends got up on Sage to grab Piggy's wish! Say do, do exist! They do exist! Friends wonderful! Now Piggy like to eat everything! Thank you, friends! Me gonna grow up and be big and fat no pun! Oh, because of you! Yeah! Friendship is... Oh! No, no pun Sage actually got added, okay. The Sage of Machna. <laughs> His age is 9,999! Oh my god! Oh, by the way, you guys also point out how apparently the, the high entier also have incredibly high ages. Like 106, 58, 
144 to 217. You guys said like Melia is like 188 years old or something like. Oh my god. I'm saying like she's the oldest one in the group. Dumbass like, you know, I was I was gonna say I think I'm too old for you, but really I think you're too old for me. <laughs> That's why you always talk to them twice. Uh uh Karuku. God, yes. Following the web of the web of people, yes, good. Make a put bunch of a horrible little pawn! I should I tell you Harika really poly! He can suck my big fat really poly! Oh, Toddy's got one now. Tra la 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 dinner time. Shoobity boobity boo, taste is sublime. Boobity bobbity, I like to rhyme. Boobity bobbity, all the time! Tell, tell me in greater detail about your ripping raps. Have friends ever seen them sing vegetables, singing insects, and bionis? They say that out there somewhere. What would you do with them if you got them? Are you start starting a choir or something? Oh, me, 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 me. Wonderful idea. Now that Tani has something to do, aim for. La, di, da, di, da, la, la. Round by us, some special creatures and plants. The names are, start with words humming or rumble. Please rather gather them for Tati. Tati needs them for making songs. Tati's need in village, so I cannot go out and find them because, you know, reasons. Eight items in a. Oh my god, eight fucking items? Fuck you. Oh, I've got some already. With the humming cabbage. To hum and cat. Rumble stone fly. Rumble coal. Rumble part. Rumble box. Okay, I'm missing two different items, I think. Grab four things with humming. Oh, yeah. So I need, okay, so I need two more humming things. Really, that's all that the, the hand it's gonna quote unquote give me. Things that hum. Oh, oh, here it is. Two humming plums and two humming nettles. Oh my God. Why, why would you do this? Oh, hey, a humming nettle. That was fortunate. I don't need humming plums on the bonus' leg. Wow, what are the odds of that? I just happened to come over here. I'm starting to go talk to the Nelpon Sage again. I'm sure he's probably got something else for me, all right? Oh, uh, yep, sure does. Z, you summon me. You wish to me approve of you and grant my treasure. For that, I will ask if you are aware of my greatness. T tell me in greater detail of your greatness. What? Do you mean to say you know nothing of my greatness? I'm really great, okay? The grants are given to me again. I'm not giving you the treasure as long as you maintain that sassy attitude. Tell my greatest, talk to the little pawn. Return when you have done so. Oh, but I don't want to. Hmm, just I thought. I can see that you wanted to know my greatness. Talk to the little pie. Okay, I did. I get it, all right? That's the only way I can understand his dumb greatness. I'm about this fucking close to stabbing you. God, we just gotta talk to you again about this shit. I just wanna hear more about Nobon Sage. Sage make Pimiki like all food. I must be the Sage like eating. One can gobble tons of tons of crap. Okay, is that it? Oh, for fuck's sake, come on. You can't tell me this was in the other quest, you little shit. Since we were, you know, hanging out and doing stuff earlier, I'd maybe run all the way back here. Now I gotta, the problem is there's no fast travel point to the fucking Nopon Sage. Oh wait, oh, I guess I'm going this side instead of crossing that bridge, but still, you go a bit closer. Little fat bastard. What? He said I am greedy. <laughs> that young girl snapper, how dare you insult me? Fierce little pun nowadays do not know enough about me. They have no respect for their elders. I just said you eat a lot. Whatever. Is that is that your thing? Does it matter? I do know that I'm a very well-behaved girl who should know about me. Oh, come on. Oh, you dick. I'm going to shove you off the edge of this cliff. Oh, that's such a... Okay, th this is obnoxious. Stop being obnoxious. Now, isn't that also the same person's friend? It's literally staying right next to them. To the other one I just talked to. Oh, no, it isn't, actually. Oh, there's a hard heart out here with Shulk and Sharla, and they are actually... Somehow, I don't... Oh, I... somehow they ended up bonding enough to actually be able to do this. So, all right. What visions may bring. Hey, Shulk, what's it like being able to see the future? It's kind of hard to explain. If I had to describe it, it's like I'm being made to watch a dream. A dream, huh? That's one strange power. Tell me, Charlotte, what do you think of my power? I wish I had it. I still don't quite believe it. Uh, I wish I had it. If I had your power, maybe I could have saved Colony 6. I can see why that would mean a lot to you. You might have even been able to save Ga Ga Gado. Yeah, but honestly, the more I think about it, the more I realize none of this could have been helped. And your power kept Juju safe. I'll always be grateful for that. Yeah, that was a close one. Glad we got him in time. Otherwise, there could have been a future where you, you didn't make it. <laughs> oh, God forbid! That good as fuel visions. If you have a vision, it, it means... There's nothing to fear. You can save someone's life. Yeah. 
feel like a stronger person when I'm about when I'm around you. That's kind of you to say. Thank you, Charlotte. But what is it? I can't see everything. Sometimes the visions are quite hazy. And even when I've seen the future, I can't always change it. Are you talking about what happened to Fior? Yeah. Ah, she's dead and there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> she's st literally standing in the party with me. I'm also worry about what's going to happen to Bionis. I'll have been able to see anything. But my power wasn't so limited. Don't be so hard on yourself. You've saved us how, m how many times now? Yeah, I guess I have. Ha! I'm pretty awesome. Thanks, Sharla. I still wish I could master my power a bit better. So they can do to help. Just let me know. I'll support you all the way. I all the way. What are you guys talking about? Oh, nothing, Fiora. I was talking about how I couldn't possibly have saved you. <laughs> okay, clearly some of these quests were intended for me to have done them a bit earlier. May it take so damn long to bond with me? Yes, sorry, right, got all the things that can hum. Thank God. All right, let's go return to that little, little bastard. You better be grateful. Bear me a shit ton of affinity for it. All right, here you go. Wow, 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 ooh, humming bits and brumble bits. Yeah, yeah, new and wonderful melodies, a flood of exciting sounds. Is that phrasing new melodies for inspiration? I hope I did whatever the thing that it was you're talking about. La, 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 okay, uh, climbing gear and some quick step gems, all right. I like quick step gems. Watching my little pie eat. gives Tati inspiration to work. My little pie is always eating Tati and empty. Emma's home cooking her blessed that she goes to be larger than other Nopon. Be the fattest Nopon there ever was. Friends want to know about Nopon Sage? But you but here he bashed out be still by himself. Master of Makdo Falls, Nopon Sage is strong. Ah, uh, okay. Hope here that you at last know how great you truly am. I'm not free to revere me. Ah, uh, for fuck's sake. You have far to go. I know that you do not necessarily revere me from your hearts. I can see it in your dumb eyes. I begin to believe in you. Do have yet to approve you. Ah! Uh, oh. I hope I was with some help. I, I hope I can kill you by the end of this. All my treasure, you'll have to try much harder. Do not give up! Suck up to me! Love me! What are you, Porky? God! You again? What is it you desire? Why do you wish to be me to approve of you? I know what to do. Shall I have you do to show your courage? Do you know my courage? Do you not say that you do not know? Oh, God, come on. Please don't make me go talk to more dumb people. But that's absurd! How can you not know? Well, it cannot be helped. Follow the river below the seahorses let and obtain proof of courage. Show me just how brave you are. Uh, okay. Have I got this already? Pass this test, you will... It will not be long before I approve you. Take care on your journey. Uh, okay, I guess I haven't. Uh, I don't think this was here before. Because I've been over here multiple times. Uh, boink. There we go, did it. It's alright, I don't have to worry about why I fall off the waterfall when I get fast travel. A truly glorious performance is indeed the proof of courage. I now see your bravery. There's only one test you must pass in order with my approval, so you must give it your all. Next test is the most difficult of all. But if you can do it, it is... No, I will say no more. I'll actually complete that quest. Father, okay. I have become strong. Father, I have become a god. Form spelly first test. But you must pass the next test or with my approval. I says, shall yet come. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, hey. There's a quest over here. Help! Someone help! Don't just look! Help! Bridge broken. It's so convenient. Oh, are you guys going to rebuild the bridge? Seems we are both of a curious nature and we're facing adversity, Theo. I don't know what to do. Enough expression would be a big problem for no one to get back to village. It is inconvenient. If the high Antia hadn't brought us here, brought us, we couldn't have got here. What a what a pain! What a pain! Yeah, it's horrible. And the fate that you hear, you might be right. But what do you want us to do? Get more hoodly doodlies, of course. Okay, we need whole planks and some other shit. Rogel crest. Okay, I've got the ro Rogel crest. Hope planks. I've got this thing. I've gotten for another quest. Hey, more of these things. God damn it. Ask me. Oh, for me to help let you? Hmm, I'm very busy with research. I know, first you help me with research. That's what we. Oh, God, come on, no. There's a big excellent assistance. We able to achieve so much. Swing my intellectual appetite. So wait, so in order to do this, I gotta do their own thing? I, oh, no, that's just it. Oh, uh, but you do have you do have your own quest. I just didn't see my grand, grandpa pawn anywhere. Should be in Colony 6. But there has been no contact for him since the mecha attack. In Colony 6. Oh no, please don't tell me you're all killed! A few managed to escape, but it would be difficult for any of those to contact this village. Actually, I want friends to take him some secret no point elixir. Of course, I need help making it. Friends mind helping me. Okay. Friends will do it, thank you! Of course, I need three things. Hades beetle, holsing eyes, and potent brog poison. Okay. Hades beetle, I've got. 
The other ones, I'm probably going to need to kill monsters to get. All seeing eyes from jungle quad wings and potent brock poison from, po from poison brocks. Yep. Oh my god, this guy has hope planks. Fuck yes. Give me the hope planks. I'm never going to give up. Whoa, hey. Indigo bel belligerence. What? Oh. What? Oh, is that a collectopedia thing for my, um... My other? That's, like, really rare? It was! Love Beetle! Boom! I was wondering, I was like, what is this? I don't, I've never gotten it before. Alright, here we go. Oh, materials! I glitched so quickly! <laughs> right. Well, that's because I actually we have to go trade them instead of having to harvest them off the fucking hose. So, thanks to you, it's such a happy day! Oh, I'm really grateful to you! Hey, alright, cool. I life better for you and I'll put back in village. Next bridge, but you once got materials. We all learn valuable life lessons in end. I can feel myself getting stronger. I can feel my power! Oh my god, Finny went way up there. Repair bridge four! Hey! Oh my wait. Was that my missing location? No, I'm still missing something. What am I missing in this fucking place? I've been wondering, like, why isn't this map completed? Oh! We got a heart to here. No no boys allowed! That sounds like a juicy one. I don't even know who's between. That's one of these ladies. Uh, Shala Melia. What a beautiful spring. Makes me want to jump right in. It does look inviting. It would be certainly cool us down. Oh, you're all right, Melia. It's so hot, the heat's getting to you. Um. You may be correct. Why should the heat affect me? You may be correct. Maybe you should take a rest. <laughs> that's, that's right. Choose between regular answer or bitchy answer. Maybe in order. I believe I am starting to see things. I'm seeing cleavage! Lots of cleavage! That doesn't sound good. Maybe the forest air doesn't agree with you. It's very humid here. Don't worry. I just need a minute to compose myself. Well, if you say so. Oh, I've got a great idea. Stick a dip. Just you and me. It'll cool us both down. It might even make you feel better. <laughs> no, that's a silly idea. Are you sure? <laughs> sure, I'm sure. Won't get another chest like this, and the water's crystal clear. But, but, I, uh, well. Didn't you used to go swimming outdoors when you were a kid? N no, never. Father would not have allowed something like that. Then what I make up for lost time? It's the perfect chance. You are right. Let's go swimming, Shaw. Let's get naked. Hope, hope Shock doesn't see me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, how's it going? <laughs> Shaw doesn't give a shit. He's like, oh, hey, how's it going, Shock? <laughs> Melia just slaps the shit out of Shulk. Ah! It's like an episode of Tenchi Muyo. Bonding with girlfriends. Oh, here we go. Filter water. I'll get one with Shulk and Melia. Hell yes. Here's a little something for the Shulk and Melia fans. All right, Shulk, let's do this. Fallen brethren. Something bothering you, Melia. Forgive me, Shulk. I'm not myself today. Uh, that's okay. Hey, look at this. <laughs> What's wrong? It happened before I met you. <laughs> hey, what's that over there? The spot my four protectors laid down their lives for me. Really? I didn't know. Was it when you fought the Telethia? Yes. Till that day, the four of them accompanied me everywhere. They were true friends to me. I grieve for them deeply. Uh, I bet you got on their nerves. <laughs> yeah, be a dick or be a good guy. <laughs> it's not like great people. They were indeed. I have spent the bulk of my life hidden away in the Imperial Villa. They took care of me for all that time. You must have been close. It's sad to lose people like that. Shulk, will you help me? I want to give them a proper sending off. Of course, I'll call Yuna to give them a sending. But we'll do it together, you and me. Hand in hand. Thank you, Shulk. My fallen brethren, I promise to live my life to the fullest. Look over me as I join journey on. That was a good shit material. That was sad material. Damn it! No, that's not what I want. You say you have something for me? I call you filter water. Fred, sure I can have this. All your friends give it to me. So Rasha told friends too. I don't know. Guess I'll take it. Thank you. I'm trying to make up to you, you little shit. I heard you were able to get the water to her. I do hope Cher Cherry goes from strength to strength at work. Hope we bridge the gulf between us and even just a little from now on. I think it's up to her. Oh, good. Now now she's only slightly meddlesome. Good. Yes. Good. Oh. Toddy was singing. She likes the singing. Or, or jealous of his singing. Oh. And I'm up on a Satoro Marsh. Old friend. 
Bococo. Okay, Shaw and Melly are now up to blue, so I'm hoping that's enough for fucking Paolo now. Hey, Coast, can we... Uh, is it good enough? No, it's not good enough! God damn it! Ah, oh, it, must, it must be purple then. Ah, oh, you suck. You suck, Paola. God, this quest never fucking ends. Okay, got all the things for this Nopon secret stuff. Secret elixir. Oh, you want to hear about my skills? No, then what? I should get lucky like, support with household budget. How about those indeed is the Nopon way? I'll do whatever I can. Okay. All right, well, that one's done at least. Hey, we all sing eyes and some potent rock poison. I'll hear fantastic. Dude, that's my way in a little while. Mr. Big Grumpy on cigarette and open elixir. We're out drinking every day. He said it is for his health. Well, for us to take some of this elixir to Grandpa on. Okay, and where is he exactly? To Satata. Oh, is he in Colony 6? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Herford Lupa, Eva, Madamo. All the Nopa of Distinction in Frontier Village. Maybe someday Kalaki will be Nopa of Great Distinction. Give our regards to Lupa, Peppa, and Madamo. <laughs> Support. <laughs> At a loss. Yeah. Oh, now Kalaki has something. I want to be big, strong here upon. And Kalaka wants a tasty meat. Are you eating meat to gain strength, little one? Um, Kalaki didn't eat it. Kalaki didn't eat for different reasons. Don't tell my brother Ponleku. Secret between us. I suppose all brothers are at risk at the beck and call of the little sisters. Bird Lady, a brother Bone too? Kalaki and Bird Lady are the same. Grab two tasty ansel wings. Uh, okay, I'm hoping I have this already. Get two tasty ansel wings. God damn it, I don't do it. Ah! Oh my god, I found another one I hadn't come across. Bana. Tasty also wings. Looks so tasty. Kalaki make delicious dish out of them. You cannot eat them though. Use the bash monster. Monster eating big meat. Kalaki go bish bash fish. Kalaki very courageous. Friends want to see? I can show friends how to break into monster's lair. Yes, Kalaki and friends plenty of pointers. Oh my god, you want to die, kid? Kalaki's notes. What? I got notes? What did that do? Thank you, look at this. What to do? What to do? So very troubling. Kalaki says she will go big, bash big, strong monster. Very angry with friends. Friends should never have given Kalaki that meat. Friends must bash that monster for Kalaki and hurt. It's too late. Beat Kalaki to it. Bash obsessive Gal Galgra in the area in the of the Hold Lair Makta Forest. Anyway, monster question can be on Hold Lair. Where Kalaki knows, right? That is childish scribblings. It shows how to infiltrate Lair. Where Kalaki learns such a thing. Oh, that's right. That. So now, I, now I can finally go to Hold Lair because there's a. Uh, there's a gate in front of it. I've been wondering, it's like, it has to, it probably has to do with some quest, but yeah, see this thing. Get out of my way. Oh, of course, all I had to do was fucking push it. <laughs> Good Lord, seriously? That's it? Hello, fellow hoes. Hi there, Malia. Scout hoed, oh no. Oh, whatever shall I do? That's right, you don't give a fuck, do you? Fine, I'm already here. I see you, obsessive badaba dabas. Boss, I've come to warn you! Oh, never mind, you already know. <laughs> like who heard the news, Fresh Bash, Obsessive Galgron? There's no way Kuki gonna be able to do with that. Feel much, feel much relieved now! Now I'll be able to sleep with peace of mind. Oh, thank God. Oh, guys, got another quest. God, there's a shit ton of quests in this place. Oh, close siblings now. Yay! Like I was always been looking out for a Kalark kal kal Lucky. I've completely neglected myself. Now, like who fear he may never be able to find Waffy upon at this rate. Oh god, we see the future. I'm gonna die alone! Let go say Peppa cutest! Peppa wrote it in her diary, so it must be true! <laughs> he told me I'm a mysterious girl! Yes, is you saying he lied to me? Um, uh, let's just, uh, uh, I go to Lego How about Peppa and Lopa both become Le Lego's Waffy Pod? No? It's not like we need to throw you in Apex like to clear your head! <laughs> Hurry up and choose one of us! Pick! <laughs> oh god! Friends think that Peppa and Lupa be interested in me! Oh, oh, last look, it's time to shine! Uh oh. Peppa and Lupa are both so pretty! Can I decide which one? Friends decide for me! Of course we are! Do you really want to leave an important decision like that to us? Sorry, but it seems like a little too much responsibility. <gasps> friends really are my friends now! Friends heroes are bring joy to look at Leku! Kalaki and all! No pun here! Leku trusts friends judgment to pick sweet Waffy up for me! Oh, for God's sakes! You're right. Like you do need to be thrown in the fucking lake. Chapter Peppa or Luca? They seem to have a thing for like Luke or Leku. Very excited to meet my bunch of my friends. Oh God damn it! How am I? How am I supposed to know, huh? I know nothing about these two. So I'm just gonna. I just have to chapter one, and that's the one they'll pick. Oh, voila, pa! A terrible crossing has been foretold of it for the village. Frontier Village is going to end. 
Tell me how you're all going to die in more detail. Up on your horrific craft from Prophecy Hut. It's so terrifying. Lop on everyone to hear it again. The prophecy say Ashi or Luga will gather around open arch. Ashi or Luga! There he And they already crossing repair for bridge four. Oh. I guess what's a bad thing I repaired that bridge after all. Ashi or Luga love to eat a snow pond. The prophecy crack or Luga going to eat whole village. We did. It's all your fault. Pass three Ashi or Luga in the area of no pond arch in Mokna Forest. Okay. And here upon his trusty sidekicks to go kick monkey ass. Oh, good heart to heart with Ricky and Melia. Mysterious sanctuary. This is their uh, green heart to heart. This place seems in quite. Incredibly mysterious, Ricky. Yes, this mysterious sanctuary called Prophecy Hut. So this is where the Nopon receive their prophecies. Melly, right? Melly, no how Nopon get prophecy? Uh. Chief Dunga mixed them up. They're delivered from on high. They're delivered from on high. <laughs> Chief Dunga makes them up. Wow, we Melly. Melly know lots about Nopon. Eresis is above the village. Looking at it from here gives me a strange feeling. Ah, uh, Ricky, no. Ricky figured it all out. What have you figured out, Ricky? I know you think this is extra especially special. Uh -huh. You mean sh Shulk? You mean you? Uh, yes, Melly, right? <laughs> when Melly cuddle Ricky, how Melly feel? When I cuddle you, hmm. It feels warm and calming, like I can forget about everything. Ricky happy, happy. That's why Ricky come here upon to be cuddled by Melly. <laughs> so that's why. I see it now. Melly and Ricky both love cuddle. Ooh! <laughs> you cuddle deep in my belly. <laughs> Melly can stroke Ricky's fur and cuddle Ricky anytime. It's very kind of you, Ricky. Make sure you look after your fur. Ricky Melly's own personal plushie. <laughs> and I'm totally okay with that. Alright, I'm gonna ask Peppa yeah. just give why not? <laughs> Does it really fucking matter? Press why Peppa make her little self look so cute? Tell me in greater detail. Tell me! Because Peppa wants her no point to tell her she is cute. What we're talking about, Press no in Leku! Wait, what? Leku looking for girlfriend? Peppa's chest for love is finally here, yes! Peppa going to make Leku her prince and marry him! Better not to not waste any time. Peppa, get dressed ready now! Whoa, no pun, girls! Peppa's found her prince! What dress? Peppa has what he dressed passed down generations of Peppa's family! Peppa going to cleverly fashion a new dress from old wedding dress. First, Peppa needs something, of course. Of uh, course, of course, you do. As friends get three delicious Fang tails from Fang. Uh, okay. Delicious Fang tails, which I don't have, do I? Nope. Okay, if we fight like this. Okay, three delicious Fang tails. Friends bring delicious Fang tails for Peppa. Great. Now Peppa use tails to back on back of dress to make Peppa's tail. Ta da! I read up on Peppa and be bowing at my cute little feet. Peppa, go get her man now! Get my boy toy! Peppa, get her man, let her never stand chance! Next step, marriage! Oh, Peppa can see it now! Oh, Peppa's guest crying as Peppa flip her wings down the aisle! <laughs> oh my god! Just sound pretty adorable, boo. <laughs> oh, engaged! Daddy Pond's somewhere on Boss's leg! Oh, Pachma, worry about Daddy Pond! Oh, worry, Dad! Garugu! Pachma's Dad Pond work on Boss's leg with Opal Merchants! Terrible tur turtles steal Daddy Pond's things! Pachma's mom wants to be because she worries so much about Pachma, uh, whatever, help him. So, some immortal turtles snatch your father's things, you say. Surely your father could easily have resisted a mere turtle. <laughs> turtle monsters like to chase, turtle monsters like to race. These turtles you speak sound like wicked monsters. So, we shall take care of them. We should deliver your father from the danger he finds himself in. Dadapon named Garugu. Night turtles steal Dadapon's goods. Let's go bash night turtles. Bash two Mount Tortoise on Bonus's leg, okay? I chose the Bonus's leg in a place called Vanilla Hill, I think. Yeah, I remember them, the big giant ones that used to be terrifying, but now they're nothing to me. Anyway, some place like that. Yep, there they are. Ah, how the mighty have fallen. You're nothing to me now, Mr. Turtle. And for that, you must die. Boom. Oh, they got a mean one, though. Armored Rockwell. Yeah, I'm not fucking with that one. Got any more weak ones around? Oh, yep, here we go. Here we are. Let her cover Danapon! No more naughty turtles! Stay Danapon's goods! Thank you, friends! Now Mom Pond not feel bad anymore! Yay! Okay, good. Oh, Pippiki practicing boing go boing boing! Piggy won't be able to jump up Pippi Chippa's house in one leap! Uh, relieve Dad. Oh, Pippiki, that one. Likes a bit. Me! Oh, another quest. 
I ran for data pawn! I said data pawn saw a mythical empress! Catch it, catch it, punch more empress! I read about the empress in a book once. But I always thought it was just a made up creature. What are you going to do with him if we catch one? Eat it? From me fried in oil or steam with pawn! Pawn or No! We're being silly! You can't eat it, Empress! Watch my told Pipiki and Karuku about Data Pawn saying Empress! Pipiki and Karuku say no such thing as Empress! They say just fairy tale! Well, I tell them, suck my nail pawns! Data Pawn would never lie to Pachi Pachi Pachipa! Friends catch Empress, so everyone believe Pachipa! Ask Karuku where the mythical Empress lives, okay? No call Pachipa a liar anymore! We can lose Daddy Pawn's letters, so go ask Daddy Pawn about it. Oh man, there are so many quests here. Oh hey, I hit four stars here. Fuck yeah! Not terribly surprising. I've gone through a big chunk of these this episode. Holy crap! Woo! Uh, Pachi will want proof that Mythical Empress is real. Mythical Empress is real. I feel little Pawn up believe. She went to cave, jumped down big hole near her Zach's sky post to go. But the answer is the legend. Proof very difficult to find. We're gonna know if you bash Arachno and Nest, you can get can get her ornament. That should be all proof Pachipa needs. Okay, I remember there being some really strong dudes down there, so I'm hoping. Like evidence that the Zack Sky Post and Boss is like proving that Mythical Empress exists. Talking about this hall here? Uh, boom. Daughter Empress. Yeah, that's what I'm supposed to whatsoever. kill. Victory. Yep. Empress's ornament. Wait, one second. Friends, where's Mythical Empress? <laughs> I killed it! Is Empress so small, Pachipa cannot see her? Surprised to ask the Empress with her own eyes. Too bad! What? Friends found Empress's ornament. That must be an Empress exists! Daddy Paul would outlaw us all lying! I was talking to and Pepiggy. Now she's probably fully bond with her dad. Reliable dad! Yay! Alright. Oh, Peppa got married! Pachipa wanted to be like Peppa when Pachipa grew up. Peppa is such beautiful no pawn. Oh, hey, cool. I want to become grown up soon. The mom pocket visit Daddy Pawn. Right, here's your medicine, Satata. Satata knows that smell. Friends carry secret no pawn elixir. Friends got that back at the frontier village. Am I wrong? Well, well then, she may have everything stored to taught her about our secret elixir. Tell her not to worry about me. She's capable of finding out secrets of McMartin without me. Tell him yourself, for God's sakes. Oh, okay, back I go again. Oh, Madamo. Kalaki wants to start a pun warrior training when we do it. Maka, do, do friends know why I do not really want to do it? I trained Ricky to fight, that is how strong I am. Oh, okay. But Machna's monsters, I just cannot handle them. Are you kidding me? They're like level 20 or something, they're nothing. Everyone has something that they cannot do as well as others. But do not let it get you down. Our sweet lady, Hom Hom. Oh, God. This must monster called Freno Dinos and Plasma Dinos. Bash ten all together. Five each of them. Oh, for fuck. Seriously? I just can bash that many. I'll feel safe training Kalaki. Oh, my God. There's so many fucking things here. So many quests. All right, Lupa. I'm my Grampion. That's fantastic! I'm so happy to hear he was he well. Grapion and Satata spoke about secrets of Magna. I'll find out the truth behind these secrets. Okay. And their shoes. Oh, I got more. Some really ancient ruins in Magna. I'll do some research there, but the door will not open. I was hoping you would say that. Have friends ever been to ruins? That's where I want to do some surveying. Grab three ancient documents from various locations in Magna Forest. Okay. Three ancient documents in order to open the door. All lucky somewhere in Magna Forest. Do your best to find them, friends. Uh, okay. I don't think I've gotten all of them. Have I gotten any of them? Mystery of the Machna Ruins 1. Here's what I know. Where two and three intersect in the fast flowing river where the winds from a snowy mountain can be felt. I wonder, maybe these weren't there before until I had uh, actually started this quest. Oh, actually, no, I I think I have gotten this. Yeah, I've already gotten two of them, shit. <laughs> Which means I gotta find one somewhere. Oh, at least I can see it on the map. At least I can see it on the map. There it is. Where's guy ancient documents? Show me! Hmm. The key to deciphering this line, another document. Of course it does. You should be able to read this. Decipher it right away. Come back to me shortly. Alright. Amethyst gear. Now how to open the door to the Mock Ruins. Ancient documents say to recite the prayer in front of the ruins. Do your friends want to try to delve deeper into the mystery of the ruins? Fuck yeah. Is that the prayer in front? The prayer in front of the King Agnes to Oh, hey, we we'll finally be able to do something about that place. Cool. You would all get excited the moment edge of a mystery. Press know the location of the ruins of Makta. Or tap at the entrance. Recite the prayer there. When the door opens, go inside, look around for me. Okay. Alright. Here we go. Boom. 
I didn't even say anything. This thing was already blue. How the hell does that work? Oh, what we got going on here? Oh, the lizard guys. They're like struggling to get out. Away from the Machna Antol. What the f- Whoa, whoa, we got some dudes down here. Hey, no, I'm just gonna ignore you guys. Brutal Gravar. Wow! Whoa, that's wild looking. He just, is he just like straight murder his allies or something? He's one of them, right? Yeah, he's one of the lizard dudes. Hey, how's it going? Wanna be friends? No? Fine. No problem Die then! Okay. Die even long! You don't need to tell me. Oh my god, that fucking top will move, okay. That's not good. Gonna whip that shit out of nowhere, didn't you? Ha, ah, missed. Dead. Despite me being way higher than this guy's level, he still uh, put up a decent fight. Ah, oh, fuck, I've run out of equipment space. Which does not surprise me, I've gotten a shit ton of equipment. I gotta start selling some shit. Doesn't look like I can open the giant coffin. I can feel a draft coming from a gap between the coffin. I should go back into a looper. Okay, we got some stuff behind here. Enig Enigma Lotus. Shield bug. So friends found a huge coffin inside the ruins. So in case of these ruins are the ancient giants. Friends fell breeze below underneath the coffin. Something may lie beneath the beyond the coffin. Right, I'll have to come up with a way to finding out. We have evidence that ancient giants lived in Magna. It's wonderful. <laughs> Is it? I got stuff. Oh, we're still going. All right. I have come up with a way to solve the next mystery. If I were, I should have no problem moving the coffin. I need some Algora sap and Arcarius Undus oil. Friends, get these in Machna and Aerith Sea. I'll put them together. Three Aqueous Undus oil from Flavel Undus and Aerith Sea, and three Agoral sap from Sap Cave in Machna's Forest. Great team. Okay, three Aqueous Undus oil. Oh, contaminated area. I hadn't actually found this. I hadn't found this area. Looks like a sap cave is over here, which I also have not found before. I guess he's right behind this guy? Yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me! Okay, I guess we gotta do this the hard way. Sap cave. Okay, now have I complete this map? Yes, there we go. Finally, the final of the Machna areas. <laughs> Ooh, cool, mmm, yummy. Have all the materials to make lubricant oil. Let's mix the Agora sap and the Arcus Andus oil thoroughly. I guess the smooth lubricant oil. Okay, doo doo doo. Friends, use this on the coffin. They should move easily. Look forward to hearing what lies beyond the coffin. Me too. Better be ultimate demon power or something. Oh my God, use the lubricant on the coffin. Oh my god, that experience I get too. Hope that guy didn't revive. Oh, son of a bitch, he did. Get out of the way, you fat fuck. You're sitting on my booty. Boom. Black Iris. Investigate. It's only a treasure chest in the center of a small room. Let's go into a looper. Oh, for fuck's sake, come on. Open it. Oh, e Eater Records Battle Soul. Oh, Battle Soul, that's uh, Shulk's thing, isn't it? Allows Shulk, yeah! Fuck yeah! Allows anyone who studies it to learn the Eater Monado art. What? What the fuck is that? Well, finally, so somebody else gets a skill they can actually max out, except for Melia. <laughs> Man, they're pretty stingy with those books, aren't they? Eater Monado art, what? Monado's power consumes enemies, including any buffs. So removes buffs, inflicts bleed damage, effect time is 20 seconds, does a bunch of damage. Wow. Cool, that's a... That's that's nifty. I wasn't expecting to learn a Monado skill out here. So he actually does learn more than just five Monado skills. Cool. So where's found small room under coffin? Single treasure chest inside. Maybe a bit of custom of the... 
chance to build the sicker room. It's very intriguing results. We'll let friends have the contents of the treasure chest. There's no interest in riches. Some friends may find them useful. Please take this this piece of giant's treasure too. An old family heirloom. I fish study it. Friends might find a use for it. Don't grab Grampy Pawn, I would solve the riddle of the King Agnes tomb. That fulfill that promise. Wow, alright. Barrier Nasher, Heart of the Giants. Inherited Wish. Aw, oh, that's nice. Boatload of experience, too. A strong defensive weapon. Its special barrier protects its, uh, its bearer. One of the three great hidden treasures of the giants. I wonder if this is going to play into what the those uh, Nelpon and the Satoral Marsh were doing. Because they also had something sort of related to that as well, right? Ah! Wondering the ancient giants will give me insomnia. Holy shit, this is a fucking good weapon. Wow, look at that. That is really powerful. It's powerful because the minimum and the maximum are actually super close to each other. Oh yeah, look at that thing. <laughs> look at that monster. Funny, I've already got another barrier nasher, but it's uh... Oh, actually. Yeah, I've got another barrier nasher, but this one's got three slots on it. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> definitely go with that one. <laughs> Wonder when I got that, that weapon. Okay, well, this seems like a good place to end things here for now, guys. God damn, that was... Whew, that was a long fucking endeavor, I will say. I dumped like fucking four and a half hours into this recording. These these quests, I swear, take a long goddamn time. Especially when they they're asking you to fetch shit that's like only dropped by monsters a certain percent of the time. It's like, oh my god. They gotta go and beat them up for like a million times till they finally drop it. But I definitely made a lot of progress with the uh, Frontier Village here. Man, they've got a lot of quests though. Jeez. But hey, I got something real cool out of it. Like a new uh, Monado skill. Like, damn, that's pretty sweet. But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite and subscribe if you're not already become a Peaky Penguin. For this will be where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy! You see Caterpillar Bernie? I don't know what it is, Nico. It's freaking me out. Mr. Oh! <laughs> Slip it over, trip it over, Bernie. So Bernie's very inquisitive when it comes to like bugs or anything, really. Okay, don't squish it. You no, know, you didn't kill it, did you? I think he's still alive. I think he's just pretending to be dead. <laughs> the Bernie will go away. Yeah, he's still alive. He's moving around fine. Yeah, Bernie never, like, she she never tries to eat them. In general, she doesn't try to squish or hurt them either. She'll take her foot and she'll dance it around them. And there he goes. But she won't actually, like, try to kill them, which I'm glad. She's just very inquisitive about everything. <laughs> So she just takes her little foot and she's like dancing around them. No, don't squish him though. Don't squish him. Don't squish him. Let him go on his way. <laughs> I know, I know. Okay, let him do his thing. Let him do his thing. <laughs> I know. It's very... It is very interesting. He's gonna just do his thing and you do yours. You know, that's why I, it's just something very good natured about it, you know? She's just curious about them. She's trying to understand it with her little doggy brain. Yeah. You're a good girl, Bernie. You're a good girl. Just please don't, please don't kill a caterpillar. Bernie. Bernie. Hey, sweetheart.